I'm Hog, this is The Dice. Welcome back to Hogwash, where I like to talk nonsense about pop culture as if the internet weren't already entirely saturated with far too many of this kind of show. No matter what your opinion on the Disney Corporation and their work, it's impossible to deny that they have been incredibly prolific and have had a huge effect on global culture. However, there's one piece of work produced by Disney that I think we're all too quick to forget. Despite the fact that it had complex and compelling storytelling in a world that managed to keep grit and heart balanced very neatly, the fact that its characters were pretty diverse but also had genuine depth and growth. The intricate and well-told and well-crafted stories put together with the expansive, detailed, just beautiful and imaginative world building. I'm talking, of course, about Disney's secret duck-based multiverse. But Hog, you say, interrupting me rudely. Surely I would have noticed if Disney had a duck-based multiverse. See, I would have thought the same until last year when I read an interview with Tad Stones, creator of Darkwing Duck, in which he said that despite the fact that they share characters like Launchpad McQuack and Gizmo Duck, the Darkwing Duck and DuckTales. <laughs> that Darkwing Duck and DuckTales. <laughs> That Darkwing Duck and DuckTales are in, I'm just going to continue, are in two separate universes. And that sent me down the rabbit hole. Or the, the duck pond. Maybe. Fuck it, I'm not making a joke about that. DuckTales and, and Darkwing Duck are already two separate universes. So that's two duck-based universes. But then Darkwing Duck also had the Negaverse, which was a sort of mirror, mirror, alternate dimension in which everyone from the Darkwing Duck universe was evil. So that's three duck-based universes. Then, of course, there's the Donald Duck universe from the old Disney comics, which is where Duckburg and most of the characters from DuckTales got, <laughs> got their start. So that makes four duck-based universes. Then, of course, there's the impending DuckTales re <laughs> reboot with David Tennant as Scrooge McDuck, which brings us up to five duck-based universes. And that's not it. This brings us on to Quack Pack, the, the, the first universe on this list to feature humans as part of the cast, which gives us six duck-based universes. But that's still not it. Because then there is the ill-conceived Mighty Ducks about... about... about alien ducks from an ice hockey obsessed planet who were a hockey team but also freedom fighters because their planet had been taken over by space dinosaurs and they they got stranded on Earth and became an Earth ice hockey team while also fighting space dinosaurs. It's even more stupid than it sounds, but basically that's seven, seven duck-based universes. And that's where it stops, thankfully. That's where it stops. Until you remember that in 2010, Disney bought Marvel Comics. Buying Marvel Comics entailed buying Howard the Duck and his duck-based universe of origin. And then you remember the zombie version of Howard the Duck from the Marvel Zombies vs. Army of Darkness crossover comic and the fucking zombie duck-based universe that entails and realize that's two more duck-based universes for a total of nine! Nine! 
in Disney has Disney has at least nine duck based universes that they're not doing much with an entire feathered multiverse of untapped potential I for one would love to read Crisis on Infinite Ducks now I know what you're thinking in DuckTales and Darkwing Duck there are other animals there's there's dogs and there's there's bulls and roosters and other stuff there's a dinosaur for fuck's sake and you know you're right but that doesn't mean that they don't count as duck based universes what is the most common kind of person seen ducks who is in nearly all of the positions of power ducks who seems to control most of the wealth ducks what are the two major cities named after? Ducks. It's obvious that in the worlds of Darkwing Duck and DuckTales that, that ducks have managed to control the narrative of history and amass most social power for themselves to the exclusion of other species. Most likely they profited from the subjugation of other Wait a minute. The ducks are a metaphor for white people. Life is like a hurricane here in duck bird. Maybe that's why it's called goose stepping. Race cars, lasers, oh God's crisis on infinite ducks is a real thing that you can really read. I looked it up. There's like a hundred different dark wings. It means a hundred extra duck universes. Oh god! The duck-based multiverse is real, guys! It's real, I swear I didn't know. Now I have to go buy it.